What's up, Elo Bandit? My name is Ladies and Gentlemen, and today I have a laddering session in UU doubles with that um, Snorlax Aromatisse team that I showed you a couple weeks ago. I asked you for some feedback, so this team is changed based on your suggestions. I'm running Aromatisse, Snorlax, uh, Crawdont, Audino. I am using a Sableye with Fake Out, Willow with Snorl, and Foresight. Foresight is so that um, final or not not final gamut. Sorry, last resort can hit ghost types. And I am I am going to be using an Espeon. Um, shout out to Mailman twenty three ten um, for that suggestion. Uh, magic bounce skill swap to give Snorlax uh, magic bounce. Trick to give him leftovers. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into a game. Um, hopefully we can find a match here. I do really enjoy using this gimmick. I think it's um, a lot more effective than I originally thought it'd be. Because um, when you think, oh, what's a Snorlax in doubles going to do? But it honestly works really well. And even like um, stuff like Last Resort in general isn't that effective or reliable. Just in general, um, just due to the nature of the move, having to use everything else before it. But I think um, in this situation, if you if you really put some setup into it, it does work out. Um, this guy's team looks pretty annoying. So it, it is mono bug for some reason. Got the bug catcher avatar really living the dream there. Um, he's got the prankster Volbeat. Uh, no other threats really. Um, so he does lead with Genesect Pinsir. Um, no real threat here. Um, I'm totally fine to go regular trick room protect. As he does, ooh, flash cannon. That's ah, he to he's totally on to me. He knows what he knows what I'm doing. All right, in that case, um, let's go and use some Sableye. Let's will o wisp this thing, and I'm actually gonna go Audino here. Okay, so it does have protect. Not bad, not bad. U turn. Okay. Okay, so not ideal. I'm guessing he's going to swap out the pincer, so I'm going to go straight into Snorlax and get my Trick Room up. Yep, there's the Volcarona. Switch, no problem. Thunder's going to miss. Perfect. And I get my Trick Room up. Now I'm good to go for Belly Drum, Heal Pulse. And I do have to use Protect before I can use um, Last Resort. That's very important. If you have to end up switching and stuff, make sure that you use Protect. Otherwise, your um, your Last Resort will fail. So Thunder is going to hit and actually paralyze my Audino. That's not ideal, but oh well. Um, I'll do this and might as well just Fire Blast the Galvantula. Really nothing better to do. I don't really care if Audino goes down because I'm totally fine to bring in really anyone else. Um, Crawdont is great against Volcarona. You can just Aqua Jet it or Crab Hammer or whatever. Okay. Fire Blast is going to do a significant chunk to Galvantula. Heat Wave, I don't think... Yep, no, not quite take me out, but Thunder is definitely going to be enough. Um, I can bring in my Crawdont. I don't really want to risk the burn onto my Snorlax, so I'm just going to go ahead and last resort the Galvantula, and I am going to Crab Hammer the Volcarona. So Volk protects, last resort takes out Galvantula, and it's fine. Now my Trick Room is wearing out. I should probably put Trick Room on someone else, maybe, maybe not, maybe I don't, maybe that's overkill. Um, last resort, Pavilion. Um, this thing usually runs Sash, though. Mm, yeah, this, I bet you this is Sash, and I really don't want to have to deal with that. So, I am going to make sure it is dead. Alright. Now, there's the Genesect, which is very obnoxious. Fortunately, Snorlax has a ton of natural special bulk. Um, but Pinsir here probably has, what was it, close combat or something? Um... And nah, that tried to return me the first turn. 
So I'll just last resort it. Actually, I could... Yeah, I'll last resort Genesect and just Aqua Jet the Pinsir. That seems like a good course of action. Not as much damage as I would think. Um, so he's actually going to focus down my Crawdont for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, well, at any rate, i got to bring in my Sableye. He's got his Volbeat, which I will fake out. Last Resort, the Pinsir. Fake out the Volbeat. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Although I'm sure this thing has, like, Thunder, thunder Wave or something. Um, last Resort, Pinsir. Uh, I'll just Willow, I guess. Nah, that was, that was, oh, that's, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, I totally misplayed that. Ah, uh, dang. Okay. So now I gotta get lucky. I gotta not hit myself in confusion. I'm gonna last resort the Volbeat and just Snarl. So basically, it's, it's a 50-50 chance at this point. Um, if I hit myself, I'm probably gonna one-hit KO. Um, he does burn me. That is very unfortunate. And I miss. Well, okay. At least I did get the, uh, I did get the last resort off. So that is goodbye, um, goodbye Volbeat. I can go ahead and hit last resort. And actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to last resort the Volcarona and Willow the Pinsir. It's going to lead with Protect. That's fine. Um, I don't really care all that much. Hopefully, I won't hit myself in confusion here. I do get the last resort off, and that is all I needed to win this match. Um, from here, it's just a last resort and a willow. I think maybe I should put... Um, I should swap out my leftovers for a mental herb so I don't get encored or taunted. That might be a good idea. So I did hit myself there. No problem. I'll just psychic this and snarl it. Alright. So team builder, let's go ahead and mental herb. And I think Espeon seems fine. It's max defense, max HP. Probably okay for now. I suppose I can go just go ahead and find another match. Also, um, this team is definitely still a work in progress. So, if you have any suggestions at all that you would add to this or change, let me know in the comments. I love to hear all of your feedback. Um, if you think there's something I'm not using that I could be, like, I don't know, maybe dual screens or something. Let me know. Um, I'd love to make this team even better because I really do like using this gimmick. Also, the team is linked in the description, so if you want to use this, you can. Um, okay, this guy is... Is this a trick room? I am honestly not sure because he does have the Cophagrigus, but... Is that a regular Charizard? This is confusing to me. Okay, I'm just going to go with my regular setup because I don't know exactly what this guy's plan is. He does lead Gastrodon, Aurora, so there's no way he's doing Trick Room. I'm good to go ahead and do my standard Trick Room Protect. So he's got the uh, Refrigerate Hyper Voice. And he is trying to burn my Snorlax, understandable. He'll pull Spelly Drum. Alright. No burn, perfect. Flash can is going to do a little bit, but not too much. Looks good to me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Moonblast the Aurorus and Last Resort the Gastrodon. Ooh, drop it special attack. Very nice. Okay, so he's bringing in his Cophagrigus. Now, this is a little bit unfortunate. I really don't like this thing very much. Um, I'm going to hope that it takes out my Aromatisse. Um, but it's probably, yeah, just going to Willow with my Snorlax. That's okay. I do have um, Heal Bell. 
and I have a plethora of things that can take out Copper Grigus or nullify it. So I'm going to go ahead and Heal Bell and Last Resort the Electros. Hopefully it will not protect this turn. Nope. Got the Last Resort. Got the Heal Bell. And it is going to... Why are you Why are you doing this? <laughs> alright, alright. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Doesn't even matter. Um, this thing is dead regardless this turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get a Trick Room up. No reason not to protect here. Poison Jab. Interesting. Will -O -Wisp. Okay, well I got the Trick Room. That's nice. Um, means I'm free to Heal Pulse and Last Resort. No problem. So yeah, as you can see, this strategy is extremely effective. I'm totally obliterating this guy with just two Pokemon. And um, there's not a whole lot of strats that can do that, honestly. This is UU doubles. I bet this could work in OU doubles, but um, for now, I'm perfectly happy destroying the UU doubles ladder. Nothing Cop Grigus can do. I'm going to go ahead and just use um, Foresight just to see if that works properly because I haven't actually ended up using that yet. So I'm going to go Foresight and Last Resort. Beautiful. That's a beautiful thing right there. Good game. Good game. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop into a third battle, I guess. Okay. Got the battle, and immediately he forfeited. Okay. I will add another, and hopefully this guy will just leave. I don't know. Okay, no, so he's back. Okay, he's back. I'll cancel the other search. Um, this dude, he's got that trick room, unfortunately. Not a fan. He's got Aromatisse, Hariyama. I don't know if Hariyama, what, what Hariyama could do to my Snorlax. So I'm just going to go ahead and trick room. You know what, though? Yeah, Trick Room Belly Protect. Whatever. Whatever. He's probably going to fake out, and probably my plans are going to be ruined, but, you know, maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> the Extreme Battler. Maybe it'll be okay. Okay, so he is going to fake out my aromatis. Um, Really not ideal there. Uh, oh, he's Guts. That is really unfortunate. I'm actually going to Moonblast and just swap into my um, Espeon here. Take the close combat, no problem. I don't like this Hariyama at all, and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and set up my Trick Room here as I... Well, he's going to go down to burn regardless, so I'll Psychic the Aromatis. Fine by me. Ah, didn't quite take me out. I actually wish he did take me out there. That would have been preferable. He's got his Obama Snow now, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and Moonblast here. And just Psychic, doesn't matter. He goes to Scavalier. Blizzard is going to take out my Espeon totally, and my Aromatisse is now very low, but I should be able to get my um, Belly Drum heal back. His Megahorn misses, that is very nice for me, and okay, so he does actually get the Blizzard off before I go for mine. Uh, not ideal. Um, 94.58. Yeah, so he actually... Um, he actually beats me pretty bad here. It's really unfortunate. Because the, the problem is I'm too fast. Um, I can't really... 
do too much. I have 58 here, so 58, 58. Okay, my here's my chance. Here's my chance. I go Sableye. Fake out the Escavalier. Actually, oh, this was bad. I totally messed that up. I'll Willow the Escavalier and protect because I can't use Last Resort yet. Okay. Now Trick Room's almost up, but I've taken too much damage. Um, I guess I go uh, Dino, and I hope I can get a double protect off. That's really my only option here. And I do get it, so that's very, very nice. Ice Shard. I don't know if Ice Shard... Oh, but now it can, unfortunately. No, Ice Shard's definitely going to finish me here. Oh, well... We got a good run. Maybe it'll only do 4%. Maybe I'll get super, super lucky. Nope. That's me gone. That's me dead. That's the end of this little excursion. Alright, well, let's see if I have any chance in hell. Crab Hammer, the Escavalier. Fire Blast, the now Jellicent. Goodbye, Escavalier. And I can knock the Jellicent, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'll just go Sableye. I don't like this thing. You know what? I bet it's going to go for Trick Room. And I'll just Trick Room. He'll never expect it. Colberberry. And it takes it out anyway. Beautiful. And there's the Moon Blast, and I'm... I'm out of there. Okay. Um, heal pulse, I guess. Snarl, I guess. This isn't looking good. Yeah, I'm out of there. All right. Well, good game. Good game. Um, he did definitely outplay me there. Um, if you do too much switching, I think it kind of throws the strategy off, just because you have to switch into attacks and because your your rhythm gets off with um the protect and the belly drum and then the last resort because you have to deal with um protecting in a turn where it's not favorable um so yeah generally best if you can pull the strat off just to start with if you lead with this it seems to work by far the best yeah i'll cut the video now and uh start it up again when i get a battle all right we got ourselves a match um this guy's got a Scavalier, um, but no real Trick Room Setter, question mark. Uh, Darkrai is annoying just in general, um, but no real threats to this strategy, so I'll just go ahead and lead regularly. He does lead a Scavalier Arcanine, um, so I'll go ahead and Trick Room Protect. If he double targets my Aromatisse, I'm going to be very impressed. Because a lot of times people are like have no idea what the heck this strategy is. So, so he is going to Iron Head Willow, and that's totally fine. That works for me. I can heal Pulse and Belly Drum. Just as long as he doesn't totally take out Aromatisse turn one, it's fine. Um, so I do get the Belly Drum off. I do get the Heal Pulse off, and um, that is the end of my. Of my Aromatisse. He, he misses his will o -Wisp, which is pretty nice. Um, I do have um, my healer, Audino, anyway, but for the time being, that is extremely helpful. I'm going to go into my Audino. I'm not going to Mega Evolve because I don't want to get hit with that Iron Head. Instead, I'm just going to Fire Blast and Last Resort the Arcanine, who does have will o -Wisp and is therefore very annoying. Iron Head is going to be fine. Four times super effective Fire Blast. I don't really have that much special attack investment. I put like eight points in or something. So he does have a Citrus Berry, meaning I cannot two hit KO. Let's see who he wants to bring in now. I'm actually not sure if Dark Void is legal or not. That's probably something that I should know. Okay, so he's got the Vrizian. Um, 
I don't like it. Does this thing run Sash? I doubt it. So I'll just last resort it. Double protect. All right, he's stalling out Trick Room. That's understandable. That's fair. But I can do the same thing. How much did my... Wait, wait. How much did my um, Fire Blast do? 66%. Yeah, that's a KO. Okay, so I was wrong about not 2 it KOing the Escavalier. I can definitely 2 it KO it. So there's his Blastoise gone. Iron Head does a chunk. I actually miss Fire Blast, um, so not ideal. He's got the Vrizian. I am now going to go for the Trick Room to protect. Honestly, I kind of think that a third Trick Room setter would be decent for this team. Maybe I could throw a Trick Room on Espeon or something. So I live with 2%. Like a beast. No reason not to Mega Evolve now. So I will Fire Blast. And last resort. Is he actually goes on to my Snorlax for some reason. Okay. Fair enough. Here, Here is his Altaria. Which doesn't really pose that much of a threat to me. So I'll just heal Snorlax and last resort Verizium. Goodbye, Verizian, and full health on Snorlax. Special Altaria, interesting. Oh, actually, actually, I guess that is kind of more common in doubles, so fair enough. Uh, I guess Sableye is a good play here. I will fake out the Altaria and take out the Darkrai. Okay, it's got Protect. No problemo. Uh, Darkrai is gone, and I will Snarl Last Resort. Alright, there we go. Another win. Alright, I will uh, cut the video again. Alright, uh, another battle. Looks like uh, this is the dude that we fought earlier. Okay. So let's see if he's learned anything this time around. This is good. This is good because um, it's like, okay, you know what I'm going to do. What can you do against it? Looks like he's going to, I'm guessing, double target Aromatisse. Um, so I'm actually going to swap Sableye, I think. And then um, maybe that's not the right play. No, I think I'm going to go actually Espeon and uh, Crawdont. Because, oh, Poison Jab actually did a lot, unfortunately. Two, two, I mean. Okay, so now I don't like this Nidoking King at all, and I don't care for the Aurora so much either, but this Nidoking King is the real threat to the team being a Poison type and murdering my fairies, so I'm going to go ahead and do my best to take it out here. He does swap Gastrodon, which is totally understandable. He also switches into his Electros. That's fine, I guess. Um, okay. Now he brings in Volcarona, and I'm happy to Psychic the Electros, and actually, mm, yeah, I'll, I'm going to Aqua Jet the Volk. That is an Oko. What I should have done was swap out my, um, I should have swapped out Espeon so that I'd have the, the setup here, but as is, it works out. So I can go into my Odino or my uh, Aromatisse, either one. Um, psychic the Electros and set up my Trick Room. So I do uh, lose my Espeon, but that's totally fine because I do get my Trick Room up. Go into my Snorlax, get my Belly Drum, get my Heal Pulse. No problems at all. Drain Punch is going to do not all that much. Hyper Voice is going to do not all that much. 
now I'm good. I, I, I can't I can't last resort yet. I do have to protect. And no reason not to fire blast this Electros since it's got uh, the double spadef drop. Although I do miss, unfortunately. That's okay. Uh, Audino is going to go down to Hyper Voice. And I'm fine to bring in my Aromatisse. Uh, fine to last resort the Aurorus and heal Pulse the Snorlax. It does have the defense boost, so I'm not really worried about Drain Punch doing all that much. Thunder Punch, okay. Maybe he's fishing for a para. Sends in Cofagrigus. Last resort, the Electros. Moonblast, the Cofagrigus. He's probably going to Will Wisp me, but that's totally fine. Um, actually, Will Wisp's my Aromatisse for some reason. That's fine. I can actually um, one hit KO the uh, Nidoking King through Burn, I think. I do have 1400 attack, which is ridiculous. So I'll last resort that and. Uh, Moonblast the Cofagrigus. He is going to take out my Aromatisse with Poison Jab, but that's totally fine. I don't know why he clicked Hex. Maybe he thought that um, Poison Jab wouldn't KO. Either way, here comes Sableye, and that is the end of his team. Foresight, Willow, and Last Resort. Good game. Alright, I guess I might as well find one more match, and then that'll be the end of the episode. Oh, okay, we finally got another match. That took, like, five minutes. That was ridiculous. Okay. Um, no reason not to lead Snorlax and Aromatisse. Uh, he's got his Genesect and Volcarona. Um, totally fine to Trick Room Protect? Question mark. Hopefully he doesn't Iron Head. That would be kind of obnoxious. He is going to flash cannon uh, my Snorlax, so everything seems to be going perfectly. I'm fine to get my heal pulse belly drum. And. Got my Ganlon defense boost. He quiver dances in a trick room. Genius. Okay, I don't I don't hate it. I like I like the I like the simple being quiver dance. However, trick room kind of totally screwed that up for him. I bet, like, there's a pretty good chance he's actually going to forfeit here. Maybe not, maybe not. I don't know why he did that, though. That was kind of silly. Let's just sort of... Oh my god, it's a Haze Coffer... Why would you use a Haze Coffer Grigus if you... If you're using simple Quiver Dan... I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand why you would do this. I can't believe you've done this. Why? Why? Why have you why have you forsaken us? Oh my god. That's oh my god. Why would you pack so much setup if you're just gonna use haze? That just confuses me so much I mean yeah you you blew up my strategy and your own good job I guess um weird very weird your pulse uh yeah what after you oh my why is why is he using after you this man is a Don. A D-O-N Don. This man is a Lord. How... Uh, uh, after... You... Trick Room Cofagrigus using After You. That's something you're supposed to use with a really, really fast Pokemon so that a really slow Pokemon ne ne next to you can hit immediately. Like, you'll, you'll see that with, um, like, a fast Lopunny and, like, a Conkildur. Um, oh my goodness, a... Trick room after you, Cofagrigus. That is some next level shit right there. I have nothing to say to that. That is... That's nuts. That's crazy. That's insanity. Um, yeah, I'm just whittling away at this Genesect, I guess. I don't know. This is... This has turned into quite an interesting battle. 
Um, I don't like this Cofagrigus at all, and I want to be rid of it, so I'm actually going to Moonblast Protect this turn. But he swaps out Lantern. Mm. This dude. Oh my god. This dude predicts my Protect? Or maybe he just wants the Aromatisse out of there. One of the two. Um, he'll Pulse Last Resort, I guess. Not doing a whole lot of damage without my super boosts. But I'll keep my Snorlax nice and healthy. Soak. Where is he going with this? Oh god, he's going to bring in his Mega Skeptile. And then discharge and boost his attack and hit my water types. I like this guy now. This guy makes me... I, I like it. I like it. I dig it. Fire Blast Genesect. Get that out of there. Maybe I can... Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to trick room, actually. I'm going to trick room. And I'm going to... Protect. I'm going to pull off my gimmick anyway. Oh, I shouldn't have Mega Evolved. Why would I... Why did I do this? Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Doesn't even matter. Healer. Perfect. 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 Heal Pulse, Belly Drum. We are good to go. Healer um, saved my Snorlax from being burnt. It's got that 30% chance every turn to cure status. He brings in his Cofagrigus. I got the Belly Drum off. Got the Heal Pulse. Please, please kill. Yes! 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 He killed my Audino. This is perfect. Now Crawdont can just walk in Aqua Jet, Cofagrigus, and we are good to go. Uh, Aqua Jet... And last resort. Bam! And I do lose adaptability doing this. Um, oh my... It didn't take him out? No! No! How did it not take him out? Oh my god. That... Okay, well, he's gone now. This this dude, DRKL, Mass Respect. Now he's got his Manectric. Okay. Is it Mega Manectric or Mega Skeptile? I'm, I'm guessing it's Mega Skeptile. Um, and I'm out of, I'm out of PP for last resort. Okay, well, there's, a, there's a downside right there to using last resort. It's only got eight PP. And he used protect, and Dilly Drum doesn't have any, okay, and he can knock off. His, okay, well, that sucks ass. Now, knock off, um, might as well just swap, I guess. Maybe I should give him a Lepaberry or something. Maybe that's too ridiculous. Alright, there goes his Lantern at least. And I can... Struggle Bug, interesting. Drop my special attack. Okay, fair enough. Um, Yeah, at this point he's basically won it. Um, nothing else I can really do. Struggle Bug is going to murder Espeon, so I'm just going to snarl him. The struggle bug snarl combo. I dig it. I dig it. That's power right there. Maybe I can take out his psychic. I guess I get a will o' wisp up now. And miss it. Okay. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. God, that special attack drop is brutal. Dang. Okay, okay. Psychic. I guess I'll just, yeah. Willow Wisp that. Um, psychic. Willow. This guy got me good. That hate, that, that all-purpose Cofagrigus is what really did me in there. So props to this guy. Yeah, he played that well. I like it. I like it. Might as well swap here so I can get my special attack back up. Um, well, the Manectric. Yeah, and then there's going to be the Discharge and the Lightning Rod. Uh, Dragon Pulse, okay. Yep, yep. There it is. Called it. 
and that is the end of this match and then the end of this recording so i'm gonna let him finish me off um thank you so so much for watching um i really really appreciate every single time you guys watch my videos leave a like leave a comment subscribe um it means a whole lot to me um so yeah thanks for watching make sure to tune in next time i'll be doing some more gimmicks um got my special coming up when i hit 300 um probably gonna do some collaborations in the near future so stay tuned for that um yeah thanks for watching